So something very serious I would like to discuss. This, the, the comic section of the, I guess any paper. Why are we still printing these comics? Has anyone, have any of you taken a look at these as of late? They're just, they're, there's no purpose to them. They're not funny. They're not funny. They're supposed to be funny, right? I mean, unless there's supposed to be like a really good story going on. Who, who reads Mary Worth? Who is this for? Who is, please tell me who this is for. Saul and Eve pause when they shop at the mall. I'm proud of you, Eve. You seem relaxed and unbothered despite these suits in this store. Thanks, Saul. My therapist spoke about forgiveness during our session this morning, and that made a light bulb go off in my head. And in my heart, I feel free. You deserve that, dear. Now let's go to lunch. Who is this for? Who is, who is reading this and then being like, oh, I can't wait till next Sunday to find out what happens to Saul and Eve as they go to the food court. Next one. Okay. Pardon my planet. I've washed my face, brushed my teeth, changed into my pajamas, and now actually going to bed. I swear, that's the last thing I thought I would do today. I don't get it. <laughs> okay, next. The duplex. You could say I'm a humanitarian. I bag up the pieces of chips and pretzels from the car seats and donate them to the local food pantry. What? Lako Garacha. Floor, Jose, you need to make sure that bunny is following all the guidelines. I think he's good, ma'am. Oh, like the, 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 the guidelines to go outside with the face and the distance. That's a hoot and a holler, just so funny. We gotta get a couple more of these just to see how funny they are. Uh, Pickles by Brian Crane. You know it's gonna be funny when there's a lot of text. When you get to be my age, there are only two questions. How much time do I have left? And what am I going to do with that time? And if my computer gets a virus, can it infect me? And why can't young people say a simple sentence without every other word being like? That's like way more than two questions, Grandpa. At my age, I can ask as many dang questions as I want. Okay, um, next one, Luann. I'm sure this one is gonna be just priceless. I keep meaning to finish this book and change the oil on my car and do, the, and do my chem assignment and clean this room. Yes, put and give you more attention. How come I keep meaning to do the things and I never, hold on, hold on. Maybe this is what's meant by a meaningful life. Maybe she's on to something. Oh, I'm not even gonna dignify Foxtrot with a read. Let's see if there's anything on the back. Lordy lordy, there is a whole back. All right, let's, let's see just how bad Doonesbury is. Welcome back to Alternative Jeopardy. Jim, you're up. I'll take math for 400. The answer is five. What is two plus two? Judges, close enough. Still up, Jim. I'll take presents for $200. The answer is, he chopped down a cherry tree. Who was George Washington? Ooh, afraid not, Lydia. Who was Henry Ford? Correct. I'll take geography for $200. The answer is Mexico. Where is Europe? Right. Who watches this? Dude, we're watching it. I can't take my eyes off it. Wow, this comic perfectly summarizes exactly what I'm talking about. How meta. They're watching a show that's so bad and so stupid, yet it got made and people are watching it and they're aware of how stupid it is. And some people actually love it. So I guess from that, 
we learned that some people, what have we learned? Thanks to our reading and perusal, we have found that they, none of them were funny. Um, and Doonesbury, I think, was the best one because it summarized so many of my thoughts in one concise comic strip. And I still hate it. Thank you for watching. If this video helped you in any way, or didn't help you in any way, please like it. Thank you. Have a great day.